people. So I went to them and I said, you know, I want you to make a film for me. And I said, oh, I only want you to shoot Bin Laden's death. I was just thinking what really strikes me, Basir, is that when you joined the academy, you were more inclined towards sculpture. But then on the other hand, it also uh, seems to be quite a natural transition. The way I develop myself is I keep on coming up with different reasons in my head. Before I thought I'm a sculptor who's making a video work. Then I came to a point, I said, okay, I'm a video artist who can do other things. I'm not really an artist, I'm more of a thinker and also a sculptor in my head. I, I was a sculptor with my hands before, but now the whole process of forcing things and breaking them apart have gone in my head. Then throughout the process, I wanted to even further disengage myself from the making. So then there's a time came when I said, okay, I don't even want to be present when the work is made. Bin Laden was kind of a hero for us in Pakistan. Like I as a kid, but you know, in the school, this idea was that you cannot kill him. We used to glorify his, uh, the, him as, you know, somebody told me that you can't really kill him. There are eight of them, so you don't know which one is who. Osama bin Laden is dead. He was killed in Pakistan by US special forces. The way it happened, we were only in the country were left with the aftermath. You know, what has happened? I call it, call it a spectacle without images because we end up having no images. For, I think, many years, I wanted to do something about it, but I was not equipped enough. And then this whole progression of letting my art practice evolve that where I let things, other people do something, started to end meet, you know, this work which was constantly in my mind and this a possibility that I could, oh, this is how I can approach this event. And that's when this idea of collaborating with Lollywood came about. You know, as you have Hollywood, there's a Lollywood. It's called Lollywood because it's based in Lahore, uh, where the city I grew up. And it's true, it, it was one of the biggest film industries in the world. I grew up in the same neighborhood where these main studios in Lahore, Iqbal Town are based. And I remember seeing these studios filled with people, even though it was way after the decline of the film industry, but there were still so many shootings, so many films were being made. But now it is going even further down. But it is some sort of an organism that is somehow breathing, somehow surviving. There was a funny incident that my brother was telling me. He, my brother makes advertising films. They made a set for next day to shoot. And they said, we went the next day to shoot. There was somebody else shooting on their set. And my brother said, what are you doing? And this guy who was with the camera said, sir, just one minute. <laughs> In his own way, he said, and then they filmed it and they went away. And that's why I have kind of believe on it. And I thought it would be interesting to have their skill, their talent involved or their imagination involved to it. So I said, I don't have any instructions, up to you. So there's a director, there's everybody who can do it. And just completely rely on their imagination. The condition that I gave them was that they would be wearing collar mic while they create all this fiction. Hmm? Hmm. I never dared to approach humor in my work. So this work was very different from the rest of the work. When these footages came about, I realized that there is this, this part of the work is very strong, which I did not predict it that would, it would come that strong. I remember it as a funny situation in the country. And I could not be able to make a serious work about that. Nobody saw what happened. Half of the people don't believe on it. And I, half of me, my Pakistani self, don't believe that it actually happened. I hope we are not recording this. <laughs>
it was like i am compromising on my artistic ego the, like the ego i had and as an artist okay these are the list of things i would never make there should be never a violence in my work there should be no blood there should be no guns there should never be a popular idea and this work contained everything possibly everything that i thought would never work i was not sure that i could show this to anybody and then somebody saw there is a gallery saw in rotterdam and he said it's a nice work then i said yeah you're right you know so i started showing presenting this work and uh, luckily we have this work here